Welcome to Crème Fine Features. We are here to savor on the recipes, flavor, and music of Cajun Creole cuisine. Although primarily brought with them the savories of Spain and France, they use their classic techniques and the local food available in Louisiana and created what is today referred to as the Creole cuisine. Whereas the Cajun cuisine reflects their way of life, which is robust, pungent, peppery, practical since it was all cooked in a single pot. Now, a century later, paparazzi at Royal Orchid brings to you live the vigorously early cajun to the elegantly spiced Creole cuisine, along with some foot-tapping jazz music. Let's go see how what they have in store for us. Well, we are in conversation with Mr. Rana Gomez, Executive Chef at Royal Orchid. Hello, Mr. Rana. How is, how is, how is the packages coming along? Oh, very well, thank you. Great to know. Uh, the atmosphere sure seems to be uh, quite spicy around here. I guess it must be all the, all the uh, spices used in here. Yes, all the Cajun Creole ingredients and all cooking up behind me. That's so exactly. that's the thing. Uh, could you tell us something more about uh, Cajun and Creole style of cooking? Uh, yeah, the Cajun is more rustic uh, type of food and uh, Creole is uh, more sophisticated and lighter version of uh, the food what uh, the people of Luzerne and New Orleans they eat. Right. And what are the kind of ingredients that is used uh, in this style of cooking? Uh, see, their ingredients more similar to uh, the ingredient what uh, Mexican and Spanish people they use. So they use like a lot of jalapeno peppers and uh, uh, they use uh, gherkins, uh, capers, uh, fresh herbs like rosemary, thyme, and uh, they have a typical uh, seasoning. But uh, what's exactly be cooking at the back right now for us? Um, what would you be making out of this? We are just grilling like a spare ribs. It's a pork chop. It will be grilled and uh, and we finish it with um, barbecue sauce. Okay. And uh, today my, my uh, chef is going to show you how to make uh, seafood jambalaya. This, this dish is more similar uh, to the Spanish paella. Asian people uh, eat a whole meal, you know, a full filling meal just like Indians do? Yes. They are very they much are, they, they eat more of protein and uh, carbohydrates uh, like us. See, they are influenced of more from um, the European uh, food, from uh, Mexican, French, then Italian. We are going to use uh, uh, some fish, then calamari. Oh, it's a mix of everything. Yes, calamari, prawns, then clams. We are going to saute it a bit. We are adding a white wine to it. So, wine will enhance the flavor of the meat. This is a complete meal by itself. So it's got a lot of seafood, then uh, we'll be adding a little bit of bell peppers to it to give a little bit of more colouring. And, uh, and finally we're going to add some arborio rice. So arborio is Italian rice. Uh, this, this is arborio rice. Now as you can see it has all the colour but except the yellow, the Indian touch is missing in that. So I'm going to add a little pinch of uh, turmeric powder. Uh, the reason is the turmeric has got a lot of medicine value. So the people who are very sensitive on the stomach, so they they can be feel safer. It's a positive aspect for them to yes. go ahead and try the venue. Yes. Mm. So, could, so. Uh, could you tell us some of the names from your uh, specially prepared menu for for this particular festival? Starters we have uh, bush style chicken, then mushroom takaj, uh, pot casserole, and for main course uh, like jambalaya, then lacos pear ribs, uh, which is pork. Um, then uh, crawfish, uh, crawfish is very popular in um, the Cajun cuisine. It's Creole, sorry, not Cajun. Uh, then uh, we have. So, uh, what is the best fish to be used? Uh, you know, that's available locally for us uh, for, for, let's say, making 
uh, uh, while cooking in a kajun or a free of I, I have a very interesting dish called uh, Kingfish Evangeline. That's a uh, sear fish. I'm using it. And uh, that's also got quite popular. And that would be? The jambalaya. The jambalaya. Food is not only, it has to taste good, it has to swell up your stomach, even it has to be safer. Any tips for our viewers who you know would, would definitely be trying out uh, 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 your dish back at home? Uh, definitely, uh, I think our... Uh, we're, <laughs> so, very soon we're going to post many of our recipes, Cajun Kiro recipes. Uh, on the website as soon as our festival gets over so you can try it out but uh, if you, you want to try the real feel of Cajun Creole you have to visit Paparazzi Absolutely, well that was Mr. Rana Gomez, the executive chef at Paparazzi um, like you said, please come by and visit uh, uh, well try his food out, try his new limited menu that is in store for you Could you um, give us your ratings on 5? 5 on 5 Five five. Yes, perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I think yes. Five on five. Yeah. Five totally. Five, 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 well, so that was uh, ladies and gentlemen. So we actually give a five on five for paparazzi. Thank you so much Thank again. You. Thank yeah. you. Pleasure.